In this video, I'm going to explain our problem. I'm going to walk you through making your hypothesis. Then, the data tables for test hypothesis 1, 2, and 3. So, in the scientific method, we are observing a problem. Our problem, we're kayaking, rafting, canoeing, something in the water. And we're afraid that our soda, Red Bull, adult beverage will sink in the water. Therefore, we're going to make a hypothesis. This is going to be our guess. And I want you to record this before you do anything else. So we're going to open a Word document or Google Docs. The first thing we're going to do is we have to write our hypothesis. Now, for some reason, the default is 14 on this. It should be 11. So I'm going to write the word hypothesis. And I'm going to try to spell it correctly. Then I'm going to make this larger a couple ways. I can go here, make it one larger I want, actually I want 14, because this is a title, and bold it. Or I can do on a Mac command shift, on a PC control shift, one, two. So I can make it go bigger either way. So I'm over here in Google Docs. I will highlight the word, and I'll make it larger like that. Now, you're going to make a hypothesis. I want this to be a complete sentence, not a one-word answer. I will mark you down a point, it's in the rubric, if you do not write in a complete sentence. So, my hypothesis. If Red Bull drops into the water, it will fly away because Red Bull gives you winks. And we all know that won't happen, right? So I've done my carriage return, that's hitting return or enter. I'm going to go back down to my base font size, and I'm going to write in a complete sentence. Now, double check what you wrote. Red Bull is a proper noun, and it is two words, Red Bull. Here, I made it one word, lowercase, shame on me. And we all know this is a silly hypothesis. It's okay to be wrong. So, we're now going to go to test hypothesis one. There's going to be a video down here. You're going to go press play, and it's going to drop six Minute Maid soda cans into a 30-gallon fish tank. And the reason it's all Minute Maid is you test one variable at a time. We want to see, do cans float or sink? Well, maybe there's something wrong with one of the cans, and that's why it floated or sank. So that's why we have six cans of the same type. We'll be changing variables for the second and the third. Now, we're going to have three sets of results. I want each set to have a title. So again, bold plus one font. Write hypothesis one, then hypothesis two, and hypothesis three. And I could write results for hypothesis one, make it larger, make sure it's bold, that should be bold also. And the way I did that is I just clicked once to highlight the whole word, I clicked three times to highlight the whole sentence. Unbold, go back to it. Now, you need to enter, insert a table. So, come over here to insert. Table, it's going to be two rows and seven columns, like so. And then this is can number, this is result. Now, to get this on Google, see that little arrow? I click show the menus, insert table, and seven by two. Ta da! and you type it in there. Now, I'm lazy. I don't want to have to do that two more times. So I'm actually going to highlight that all. Control C or Command C, then Command V, Command V, and ta-da. Results are, oops, that's one, that is two, that is three. So then you're going to write in a complete sentence the majority of the cans sank, floated, flew away, did the hokey pokey, they didn't do the hokey pokey there, have arms. Now, we're going to submit it to something called Turnitin. I do not mind if everybody has a 100% match on the majority of the cans did X. However, to try to minimize that, maybe rephrase that in your own words. So, once you have your table, you're going to watch the video below. See, it's right there where everyone can see it. It will be there when this is open for you. And then after the table, and you run the experiment, 
tell me, the majority of the cans floated, sank, flew away. That's my boat, remember. Did the hokey pokey. I hope not. They don't have limbs. And then you're going to click on hypothesis two. Now, the majority of the cans did X. You're going to write that. If you're going to turn it in to this thing down here, and it's going to check your match to other students. I am going to have a 100% match for 45 of you guys for this sentence. I am not going to have any issues with that. If you'd like, you could try to reword it so it doesn't have the same thing for everybody. It's more entertaining for me to read, but it's okay if you guys have a match. So we're going to find out, was our hypothesis right or wrong? Then you're going to test it. We're going to change a variable. We're going to change the can. This is going to be diet Dr. Pepper. Then we're going to see, does our hypothesis hold, or do we need to revise it? And then we're going to test it again. And if I wanted to, we'd keep going and going. That is part of science. You keep testing it and testing it and testing it until you get the same results. So notice here, this is regular. This is diet. So that is what you guys are going to be doing. I will have my next video for form a conclusion.